Welcome back. This is my uh, final video on this uh, 2018 Goldwing DCT Tour add-ons, the lights. Uh, it might look like a rat's nest right here right now, and it is, because I've got all these things plugged in to this isolator fuse box. And since these are all LED lights and low voltage lights, uh, there, I see no reason not to uh, be able to gang these up. And what I'm using is these nuts. I can't remember what these are called. I got these off of Amazon, uh, followed a tip from uh, Cruise Man. And I thought, you know, with all the wires I got to connect, there's an awful lot of crimping and connectors and wire nuts or something that I'd have to use. These are simple. So each side's got three lights. Um, that's those three small wires. And uh, so I twisted all three of the small wires together, the red, the blue, and the black. The blue wires are running lights. The red wires are the turn signals. And the black wires are the ground. And then I fed them with another piece of wire. I didn't have any blue, so I had to use a piece of red. And I read, ran those over to the terminals here. And so that's how I wired this up. I did a right side and a left side. All my wires, of course, are marked, and now I can try it out. You can see my cow lights are working. Man, those little ones are bright. And my back bag lights are working. Oh, I like that. And let's do a turn signal. There, I got a sequential turn signal on top, turn signal on the bag, turn signal on the cowl, on the engine cowl, and a turn signal on the fork and the mirror. Those are original. Let's do the right side. Let's see. Mirror, front fork, cowl light, bag light and a sequential trunk light along with the original turn signal so i like it it's lighting up it's going to make me good and visible okay so now my hazards are on i'm blinking on both sides and on my trunk Look at that. So I got to bundle up my wiring, tidy all that up, and tuck it all away. So when it's putting it together, I just might be able to go for a ride tomorrow. I still got a couple hours worth of work. I'm kidding you, this is a lot of work on this thing. But I think it's beneficial and it's going to pay for itself. I probably saved enough $1,200 $1, in labor fees that I could uh, buy myself a motorcycle lift. What do you think, huh? Comment below and tell me what you think about that idea. Here's what it looks like in total darkness. Here's with fog light. I've got a couple of things on order, but they don't require taking the fairings off. So I'm going to uh, wait on them, and I'll uh, do an update on that. But they're they're small things, I think. So keep winging it. <laughs> 